Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. This is a fuel water separator lid off of a 2020 F450. I'll show you where this is located on this truck and I'm going to talk to you about what I'm doing here. Alright, so I'm up underneath the truck. This is an aft axle. Here's the rear end. Okay, that's the passenger side, that's where the exhaust is. This is where that fuel water separator goes. I was doing an oil and filter change on it and changing out the fuel filters. And uh, I'll show you what happened. Uh, uh, this is a dually, okay. These are aft axles, these are not midships. Midship would be right here. So let's go over there back to the table and I'll show you what happened. Okay, so looking at this, it sits up like that. It's got five eight millimeter bolts in it. This broke, I broke it. Went to go drain it. Yeah, little tabby's broke. Tab right there. It's broken supposed to look like that broken so I had to call in some reinforcements to my buddy over at the dealership he actually had an old one um, that came off another truck so I just have to take the whip sensor and put it back into this one so, so if you look at the whip sensor whip is water and fuel just turns this little lock tab. I'm gonna grab it and turn it. They're tight because there's two O rings. Turn it. See how that's sticking through there like that? It is now even with the hole. I should be able to push. Now I got the O-ring sticking out of there a little bit. Probably can't see it. But. I'm not touching the prongs. There it goes. Here, click. Tight. Still, I'm not touching the prongs. You can probably get a screwdriver and pop it out. it is so I'm gonna take it I'm gonna lube that up and put it in over here all right so I lubed it up if you just use some seal glide or some grease or whatever do not get it on the prongs it doesn't take much and shove that in there like so push it down make sure it's lined up on the other side it is Excuse me. Push down and turn. And 
it's in. Now I'm gonna replace the fuel filter. I'm gonna put a new filter in it. Put a new gasket around there. Part number, Frank Delta 4647 or Papa Charlie 3 Zebra 9 Nancy 184 Charlie. That is the whole kit. That'll go up top when I lower the truck down. And it has tab, 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 tab. And I do apologize. Sometimes it's hard to do this with one hand, but see the circle? Lock tab, lock tab. Circle, lock tab, lock tab. And stick it in. Like so. Like that. Push it over. That locks. And then you go stick it back in the truck. I right, see, I just got one bolt holding it up there, that middle one. So I can use my other hand here. And they don't have to be super duper tight or you are going to break it as well. Now, a lot of you are probably going, oh, he broke that and now he's going to charge the customer for a new part when it's clearly used and probably charge them full labor for it. But I don't have customers to charge labor or parts to. These are all fleet vehicles. It's all internal. So whatever I need, I get. Now, this part wasn't in stock at the dealer, but I did go over there and see my buddy who had, had a spare and allowed me to do what I'm doing now, but I ordered two of them. So I will have them in stock if this ever happens again, because it will happen again. Because all I did was grab it and turn it and it broke. So that's my fault, I broke it. But now it is fixed. I can get this truck back on the road. Alright, so we already did the lower. I got done changing the oil. And uh, I'll stick some rags out here. I'm going to do the upper. Yeah. So these have... Let's see if I can do all this with one hand. Pinching. It's really hard to do with one hand. There we go. Two hands works better. Cool. Push on the tabs. Cool. This one's got the little green tabby on it. You can pull them back. Push up so it unlocks, and then you can get your fingernail underneath. Oh, can't see me. Oh, yeah, you can. So get your fingernail underneath it and pull up. Like that. And then pull it off. twist pull it out sorry I know one hand that's why we got rags down there new one
stuck on the wire back there. See it fall? That one hit the ground. Make sure that's pulled out. You change hands. I'm sorry, that was really hard to do with one hand. Open up the diesel. Open up this new bottle here. Come on. There we go. Dump in your fuel treatment. Be sure to put your cap back on. And now we got to prime the fuel system. Oh, and this one has. 295,925 on oh the battery's dead but that's okay because we have the Loki Thor J402 power on you hear it click click green light now I can come over here and prime the system So I'm going to do this three times, about 30 seconds pop. It's priming the system. Okay, you guys want to see how many engine hours there is? I hear that. Engine hours, 15,012. Idle hours, 8,737. 8, That's quite a bit. And that should be almost done doing that. Turn it on one more time. So it's like right around 30 seconds a piece. Um, ignition cycle three times. And this bad boy should crank. I know that wasn't 30 seconds, but still. That should be enough. I can still hear it flowing. Cranks right up every time. So I broke the fuel filter lid. I replaced the fuel filter lid. Replaced the fuel filter, the engine filter, and the oil, and the oil filter. And primed the system. Still running. You can hear it in the background. And that's how you do it. And I appreciate it. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.